I went to see a SCAD specialist at a well-known hospital here in Utah, and SCAD stands for Spontaneous Coronary Artery Dissection, and he recommended a treatment protocol that's different from that of conventional heart attacks, because conventional heart attack treatment often involves treating the plaque or atherosclerosis in your arteries, and would often be treated with statins and cholesterol medications. However, because SCAD often involves a tear or a blood clot in the artery, it isn't atherosclerotic or plaque-based, so he recommended a beta blocker instead to help lessen my heart's workload and to strengthen the muscle in my heart over time through a titrated dose, so they're going to increase the dosage to help strengthen my heart. And because he is also a SCAD research specialist, he's having me participate in a research registry, which is national, and they're looking for markers or clues that help people discover what causes SCAD. And um, I kind of fit into that typical age group or picture of what a SCAD patient looks like because they found that often people with migraine or autoimmune disorder, and I was diagnosed with lupus, are prone to getting SCAD. And I'm also in that age group of the 30s through the 50s and female of what the typical SCAD patient looks like. So what I did was I donated my blood to the laboratory and they're going to put it in their database and study that and um, I just hope that someday we can find a cure for SCAD. Today I'm going to do a review of Kicking Horse Coffee. Eww! Has this awesome picture of a donkey on the cover and anyways I researched this company this time I did my research and it was started 25 years ago, quite some time ago, in Canada. And I'm going to read to you kind of a history and story of the company, because it's very interesting, I find. Um, so here's their story. So it started way back when a Rocky Mountain explorer got kicked in the head by a horse, this coffee company, and his traveling compadre thought he was dead and started digging a grave. But whoa, legend has it that he was woken up by a kick-ass cup of coffee. We couldn't make that stuff up, it says on their website, behind their story. So I agree with that, like it's a kick in the head. This coffee is really strong, it made me kind of jittery, so I'm not actually going to have a cup today because it's that strong. This is just a prop. Um, it does come in the whole bean format, so you're going to need a coffee grinder To grind it down and I've often found that the whole bean ones retain their their flavor a lot better and store better um, also it is fair trade and organic so you know that the working conditions that the slaves I mean workers um, worked under weren't that bad and this one the kick-ass flavor was a dark, sweet, smoky, audacious flavor, it says, and the company started 25 years ago in Canada. Eow! Kicking horse!